So welcome to Petrafine. Hello, it's Sunday. I'm ready for the day. Um, I've showered, I've got to Netflix, I've got myself ready to go, got some stuff going on today, gonna be a big day. So let's go do it, let's go have fun. Woot woot, there's people in my house. There's so many people in the plaza, but I finally went to Camera House and got a tripod. So I can start vlogging properly again. Enjoy videos. I'm very excited, very excited. Say hello. So I got this grip thing for my car, and now I can do this while I vlog. So yeah, I don't have an excuse for not vlogging anymore because I can vlog in my car. So yeah, I'm looking forward to now that I've got all my supplies. The reason I haven't been vlogging is because I haven't had a tripod all time, and now that I have both. I'm thinking I'm gonna go back to four videos a week. We'll see how it goes. Like it could very easily be a failure and then I've wasted all this money on all this shit, but you know, I'm excited. I'm looking forward to it. We'll see how it goes. So I'm in Campbelltown because I have rehearsal here for the musical that I'm playing at the moment. And I have absolutely no idea where I was supposed to park because I parked the shopping center and I couldn't see any shopping center across the road. At least it came at the theater from like a different angle. And my map said that it would, so I have absolutely no idea where I am. I just like turned and parked somewhere, but you know, here I am now. And I've got my clarinet, and I'm just walking through Campbelltown, and hopefully, I don't die. I forgot my fucking music. I forgot my fucking music. So I forgot my music, my brother's gonna bring it to me and I've got my laptop so I can play it off my music my laptop until it gets here. I just can't believe that I forgot my music for a fucking rehearsal. I am a moron and I hate myself and everything. The first lot of rehearsals done and so was the sits probe and then we've got a full run tonight. My mum brought me my music as well so that was all problem solved because she was just an absolute, absolute legend but I did just completely panic and just shut down and could not problem solve at all. Is there no crossing up here? Am I just walking all this way for absolutely nothing? <sighs> I hate this suburb. Uh, I've got about two hours to kill before the run through, and so I'm just going to sit in Maccas and watch Grey's Anatomy on my laptop. There's a whole hour left, but the director came and just sat in here for a bit, and I'm like, hey, leave me alone. I think I'm meant to be worried about walking around Campbelltown alone at night. But it's like, the, the, the floor is made of bricks, like it's passed and paved, is the word. And I just, I feel like this is so fancy compared to Penrith, like I feel like I'm unstoppable. I feel like I'm in a movie. Like I'd walk around Penrith by myself at night. I do, I have. Now I feel like perfectly safe, I feel fine. Look at that kid. He's happy, he's fine. He's fine. It's Gambletown, they have kids on their walls. They're fine. It is absolutely freezing. I'm wearing legitimately like one layer. Like I am so cold. I don't even know how cold it is. One sec. Let me check the temperature and I'll get back to you. So my app is telling me that it currently feels like eight degrees in Campbelltown. It's gonna take me like an hour to get home, but I wore new shoes today. So my feet are really sore. So I'm walking really slowly, which is I'm in the cold for longer. I think it would sound a little bit scary because anywhere scary at quarter to 11 at night. But I've got my clarinet, so it's pretty heavy, so I could hit someone with it if I need to. Hello, loud car. How are you doing? I think I've genuinely missed my car. I think I've walked past it. I think I've walked past the turn. To my car, I've just kept walking. This is why I vlog, because Honestly, I need people to believe that this kind of thing happens to me. Like, this is how my life is. Just, I just... Oh, no jokes in me. Okay, no rest, sorry. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> okay, it's cold. I've got to go before my hand freezes off. Good morning. It's Monday. I've got um, band workshops today. And so I have to be there at 9.15. It's 5.2 now, so I've got heaps of time. It takes about 10 minutes to get there. I'm going to get a coffee in my way, so I'm just getting money out ready. I want to be able to get like a cool shot of the road while I'm driving, but this is the best I can do. And it's like 80% dashboard and dashboard grind clear. I just 
wanted to run a marching band session for like 60 primary school kids and it just involved me yelling for like an hour. My throat is so sore, but it was just so much fun. I love marching band. I miss it every day. Hello. So it is, um, it is Monday night, as you can tell from my same outfit. Actually, no, I wear the same clothes all the time, to be honest. I look gross because I'm absolutely exhausted. But we're going out for drinks and snacks. I'm so hungry though because I haven't eaten yet. Um, uh, with my old drama teacher and some friends from school. And so it'll be a lot, a lot of fun. I've um, just got petrol, so I will make it there. Oh, I got a full tank. Oh, yeah, I was only putting $20 in, but a $20 ended up being a full tank. I love having a small car. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm vlogging again, Emily. It's 2015. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> early this morning so I could do things but I still woke up for my alarm and so I'm angry. I have really bad windburn on my lips so I look like a fucking clown. So it's time for me to go to work still looking like a clown. I've only got a four hour shift today so it's nice and short and I can just come home after that and nap or watch Grey's Anatomy or Whatever ends up happening with my day, you know, we'll see, I suppose. Can't remember where I parked up here. Like, I know it's here, but I can't remember where I parked. <laughs> I see my car. Oh, someone's staying right near my car. Good to leave work early today, which is a little fun. Gotta leave a whole hour early. Gonna go get some lunch. Maybe I won't, but I'm hungry, so I will. So it's Wednesday night now, I'm really cool. I just went to like a drama evening thing for my old teacher. We had to be like pretend to be students and like evaluate these people and I just love having opinions. So I really enjoyed going. I love having opinions and I love my old drama teacher. So it was really great, but now I'm heading oh, to Springwood to go to a trivia night, which should be fun. I'm also wearing this outfit, this shirt. It's an interesting choice, but I wanted to like kind of dress up, kind of not. So that's why I went for ripped jeans as well that are falling down. It's just, my life's falling apart. My jeans and my life are falling apart. Hello, I've just finished work. Um, I worked nine until four. And they let me leave like five minutes early though because we were absolutely dead. I don't know why they have anyone else on four. Which was someone onto two, and then someone onto 2.30, and then someone onto three. It's like on Thursdays, so then we get about half hours. We just make everyone leave on the hour. So it's like everyone's restaurant either finish at three, at four and I'm like oh no but that's fine works fine it was all right and your money's important and great and good um I'm pretty exhausted now though do want to get a haircut today just because I know that if I leave it any longer it's gonna bug me and this is pretty much my only time to get it done but I don't know where's open tonight Oh, the air's on. I don't know if you can hear me. Can you hear me better now? Hi, so I just got my hair cut and it cost me $53. And they like didn't shave it, but they like trimmed the undercut. And I'm just so happy with it. Like, honestly, oh, yes. Um, it's so good. But um, at one point, the lady was like, because they always ask, whenever I go to a new hairdresser, which is all the time I get my hair cut, I have not gone to the same hairdresser twice. But um, they're like, oh, did you used to have long hair? Has it always been short? I was like, no, I used to have like really, really long hair. have been really gay to do that and I went yeah I am and she was like haha and then it clicked that she said game and not gay and we weren't just talking about how my hair makes me look like a very obvious homosexual I don't know how I feel about that actually they didn't do like the choppy thing that they normally do but then also I haven't grown out the choppy thing I don't know maybe my hair's just gonna be different I think if it's if it's shit I'm just gonna cut all my hair off and dye my bald head Blue. Like the into like shiny bald, not to buzz cut bald, to like shiny head bald, and then I'm gonna dye the actual skin where my hair would be blue. Maybe I'll get a head tattoo. What an idea! All great things to consider. I hope you keep it in mind. Get back to me. Let you know how you feel in the comments. Head tattoo, scalp, dyeing, or just you know, deal with my hair because it looks exactly the same as it did before. 
So I had a lovely day out and about with my sister and my nieces and but now I'm home and it's about 5 to 3 and I have to leave at about 6.30 but I have to eat before then I'm just gonna have a cup of soup. What's with my hair? Like it's all like weird there. Show one done. It was a bit of a train wreck. I got a hot chocolate. I was gonna say coffee but I can't drink coffee this late at night. I'll go crazy. But yes and I find a hot chocolate because I can't drink coffee because I don't know and I'm like, I have to colour him. So it tastes gross because I hate sweet things and I hate soy milk. Oh, I thought I lost my case then for a second. But yeah, the show happened and that's my current thoughts on it. I'm looking forward to getting home and having a sleep in tomorrow because I'm not doing anything until the show. Again at about 8pm so I don't have to leave until like 6.30. I have to put my phone down so I have hands. It's Saturday. I'm back in Cranebrook. I've got a jacket tonight. But it's colder than it has been before. I don't know what temperature it is. I kind of just want to get inside. I kind of just want to go home. I wasn't feeling great today. I was quite tired. And now I am still quite tired. And then I'm going to get through seven hours of work tomorrow. We'll see. Petra, Petra, oh, Petra. It's a bit fucking cold.